Alright guys, I'm back and I did change locations a little bit in my yard because uh, the sun was just blaring on the front porch there. The sun was going down and I was sweating like crazy so <laughs> the sun was about to be right in my face so I, I changed locations and uh, uh, when I changed locations I moved my chair and everything uh, and I came over here and tried to puff on the cigar again and it, it was completely out so I mean it couldn't have been more than a minute you know for me moving but uh Anyway, so that was kind of annoying I had to relight, but I have had to touch up uh, kind of often in a cigar as well, which I don't like. Um, you know, with bigger ring gauge cigars, that's kind of a thing a lot of times. You have to touch up your cigar because the burn is quite uneven. Um, uh, this is a, you know, 52 ring gauge, so it's on the bigger bigger side, I guess, and uh, I'm, not, I'm not really that keen on really big cigars. This isn't that big. You know, there's bigger, obviously, there's like 60 ring gauge and stuff like that, but uh, anyway... Um, Almost done here. I have had to double puff on the cigar just about every time throughout the smoke to get enough smoke production, uh, which is another kind of annoying thing. Uh, I don't know, I guess I expected better, this being a Drew Estate Undercrown. Um, the Viva Corona size that I had before was a lot better. It was a, I don't think I had any problems with, uh, with uh, you know, relighting or touch-ups or anything and um, the taste was a lot better too. Um, this is not a terrible cigar but I wouldn't buy another one of these in this size, the Grand Tour, just because um, the taste wasn't as good and like I said the construction issues with the, well I guess uh, it being bigger ring gauge and having to relight and touch up and stuff like that. But um, yeah it's, um, there's been I guess a little bit of fleeting, just a little bit of spice here and there, not a whole lot. Maybe a little bit of black pepper taste, but mostly just uh, kind of dark, earthy, Maduro type flavors. Um, no real transitions or anything, just kind of, um, like I said, just kind of dark and earthy. Um, a little bit of bitterness here and there, and toward the end of the cigar, here it is getting quite warm and getting more bitter, so I'm about to end it. Uh, still producing a lot of foot smoke. If you can tell, but uh, anyway, so uh, oh, and also uh, the runtime or the smoke time, it's uh, I forgot exactly what time I started, but I think it's just over an hour, which is kind of surprising because the one that was the small ring gauge that I had, which I think it was maybe even a little bit shorter, it might have been the same length, I'm not sure, but I, I believe it was the Viva Corona that I had before, <clears throat> a small ring gauge, and I guess it was packed tighter, but it was just shy of two hours. And this was just over an hour, so it's kind of surprising. But anyway, this has been the Drew Estate Undercrown in Gran Toro. So thank you guys, thank you guys for watching. Uh, hope you have a good day. Keep sticking and keep piping.